Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we're going to be going through another Photopea tutorial. Today we are going to be turning regular images into manga or comic book panels. This process is pretty quick and pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you a couple different exemplars just so that way you can kind of see what this could look like depending on your image. Now to start off I'm going to use a plane, um, then we're going to hop over and we're going to be using the street sign and then we're going to be using the regular street itself. So to begin I always like to make a duplicate of my layer so control J to create my duplicate. Now with my layer one, that's gonna be my working layer. I'm gonna to go to my new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, and we're gonna drag my saturation all the way over until it's at its darkest. Now I need to merge these two layers, otherwise some other stuff won't work. So you need to select both. So just click on one, hold shift, and then select the other, and you're gonna to go to merge layers. With those layers merged, you're gonna go over and you are gonna to go to filter, go down to filter gallery, and then you're gonna select poster edges. Now this is personal preference depending on how you want your panels and how you want your stuff to look. You can adjust your edge intensity just making those lines a little bit darker or a little bit more noticeable and this uh, edge thickness will just help make some of those edges a little bit thicker. Now posterization is one thing that can make a big difference in whatever your image looks like. You can see it kind of gets some pixelization. If we're down all the way on this image for example, it really makes it more of like black and whitish. Not really the style I want to go for. I like this because the liney bits on this to me look a little bit better. So again, personal preference on whatever it is that you want. Now it won't be the same for every image either. So it's also something to be aware of. Now we're not quite done. There's one more step to do our alterations. We're going to go up to filter, filter gallery, and we're going to go all the way down until we reach halftone pattern. Now this creates those kind of like little dots, those little sections that almost make it look more like it's been printed on a comic book. And you can adjust the size of those. Now, obviously we don't want them to be huge and you can adjust a little bit of contrast within your image to make things a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. Again, a lot of personal preference within this. And I can kind of see my before and after as I turn this on and off. This is pretty straightforward. It's pretty quick for pretty much every image. So that way, let's say you're creating your own comic book and you need to do it on a budget. You don't want to draw this stuff. You can just go find an image and honestly turn it into that stuff. Now I've run into some issues before when I go through and I do my halftone pattern. And for some reason, this little white box down here turns green. So whenever I do my halftone pattern, it's black dots with a green background. So figuring that out, problem solving. It took me a while to even notice that that box was green. So if you run into that situation where it's turning everything red or blue, whatever, just make sure to go down into this box, click on it and just change it to make sure that it is white. Now, heading on over to this as our exemplar, again, control J, we're going to create a duplicate layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, drag it down so that way it's black and white. We want to merge these layers, right click, merge layer. First filter, we're going to go down, filter gallery, again, poster edges, personal preference again, just going to kind of do this super quick, like, okay. And then last filter, filter, filter gallery, half tone pattern. And I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller. I'm going to change my contrast to make it a little bit brighter. Bam. So a little bit of a darker panel on this one. Again, you can do some variations on how you're adjusting your stuff, but pretty cool and how quick this is and how easy this is to turn any of your images into something along the lines of a comic or a manga panel. This one's a little bit more complicated, so we'll see how this one goes. Again, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, adjust my saturation all the way down, merge my layers, filter, filter gallery, we are going to go to postered edge. I'm going to have my posterization more around there. I think that's pretty much where we started. I'm going to make my lines a little bit thicker and a little bit darker. Okay, beautiful. Now again, filter, filter gallery, and then we're going to go all the way down and we're going into halftone pattern. Um, make this a little bit brighter. And bam, I'm happy with that. Now, again, depending on your image and your image quality will kind of determine some of these pixels and some of these spaces. Just be aware if you're choosing an image that is super small, uh, when you go to that halftone pattern, those pixels are based on the amount of pixels that are with that image. So if you've only got an image that's 
a hundred and whatever by a uh, uh, 200 then when you do that it's going to look very pixelated and it's going to look pretty rough so you want to make sure that you're choosing high quality images or at least high pixel count images uh, for whatever it is that you're using for this project and for this idea now that's it that's all that's really all that covered in this tutorial pretty straightforward uh, at least I believe so it's only a few steps to create these images and kind of alter them to kind of create them more into those comic-esque manga-esque style panels now as always thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something have a wonderful day take care and be safe